Patreon users, what's going on? Welcome to the podcast only fans where you get unfiltered, unhinged, <laughs> raw pause thoughts. Um, of course, I am Armand Sadler, your host. I'm here with the gang. Um, they're they're sitting here cordially now. I don't know if Miss Two Bs and Will will be as cordial <laughs> after we get off of this conversation. Um, something arose over social media. Um, discussing New Yorkers, non-New Yorkers, that which they call transplants. And I'm going to let Miss 2 Bs give us the context on this before we really get into this conversation. But I do think our unique perspectives of a born and raised New Yorker, someone who moved here, well, you've been living here for like a decade now, right? Damn 10 near. years? Damn near a decade. I'm a Jersey nigga who spends a lot of time over here. I don't claim New York because that, that would be wrong of me. But I spent a lot of time here, and I, I, I've grown to love New York, and I feel like I understand the culture of it a little bit, a little bit. So I think just these unique perspectives on this contentious topic will be uh, fascinating. So please inform us on why this conversation arose. All right, so boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Tompkins block party yeah. goes down every Sunday, and, um, you know, content always goes viral from that event. And um, they... Someone just commented saying, like, I don't like this new Brooklyn. Mm. You know, it's just I don't know what's the the exact verbiage. I'd have to pull it up. But um, (laughs) she basically said, like, this new Brooklyn, like this isn't an authentic block party. And the people who are here all match or the people who are attending the event all match a particular aesthetic. And it's not the aesthetic of New York natives. Mm. So now, you know, that started the wars and the transplants are trying to defend their right to have NYC in their bio <laughs> and, you know, all types of stuff. And then my tweet did little numbers mm-hmm. on there because, you know, I just, I feel how I feel about them because the real issue is the natives being outpriced mm. of a city that they only know, grew up in and all that stuff. So... You know, I made a tweet saying, like, respectfully, if you ain't go to New York City public school, in parentheses, Catholic school, because they was in the trenches with us, too. Mm -hmm. If you ain't go to uh, New York City public school, I don't really want to hear your opinion on anything that has to do with New York for real. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people chimed in um, agreeing with me. Um, (laughs) One person was like, ain't you an immigrant? Because mm. I have the Panamanian flag in my oh, wow. bio. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, my mother is, one, I was born in Kings County Hospital, mm-hmm. two, and an immigrant is not a transplant. Mm. <laughs> so. Spicy as always in New York. I love it. Yeah. Um. So I guess for you, having grown up here and seeing the gentrification happen over time and um, New York being this, New York is a destination. It's a, it's, it's a city... Yeah. People dream of visiting. I get it. Dream of living here. It's the centerpiece of everything. So I guess for you, seeing how it's changed over time, like within your neighborhood and within Brooklyn and then at large, like how does it how does it make you feel? Like how many of the, the stores you grew up seeing when you were young are still there? Like not many. That? Not many stores. Like I ain't gonna hold you. I might I might have to do a little two minute drill on this one. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. Like transplants really get on my nerves for real, for real, because mm. they make up a rag to riches story. And Will, this ain't nothing personal, because I don't even know you for real. Mm. But this is just <laughs> like a general, you know, thing. Yep. Them motherfuckers come here leaving their houses, their porches, their backyards, their own rooms to come here and fucking couch surf Mm. on motherfuckers' couches like they don't got fucking family at home. Mm. And then, like, of course, you got the time to be going to a fucking record label and doing all type of things that we don't have time to do. So it's like, because you have to make it. Like, you are on somebody's couch. You're more determined to make it, but... It's just, I could sniff a transplant out. Like, I'll be like, yeah, I'm, on my, I'm going home. They're like, oh, where you live, Brooklyn? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I live in Brooklyn, too. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what part? And they'll be like, oh, Williamsburg or Bushwick. And I'll be like, you a transplant? <laughs> and that always gives it away. It's just like, like, they, like, to speak on a place with so much authority just because you've been here for, like, a long time. Mm. I don't, I would never go to someone else's state, move there and start claiming 
their state. Right. So it's just so weird. Like, I would just always maintain the fact, like, oh, where I was born, where I come from, but just still act like a guest, mm. you know? Um, immigrants do that because I see people talking about immigrants. My mom do not claim that she's American, and she never will. Mm. Like, my mom says that she's Panamanian. I even say I'm Panamanian, and she has to remind me that I'm American. Yeah. Like, so um, I get it, but, like, the whole rag to riches story, that shit is tired. Yeah. And the fact that they are able to get more opportunities that natives don't get, I don't understand that. But I'm definitely learning a lot more about, like, you know, being involved with our local government yeah. and getting grants and... You know, just kind of, kind of educating the real people who's like moving and shaking, and who's really pillars of the community because it really upsets me. As soon as I see a flyer graphic or an event flyer graphic, and it has like a certain aesthetic or <laughs> certain names on there, I just be like, "Yo, I'm good, Crody. That mm. shit is not a real New York event. Mm. Like, I don't want to see no. And I'm sorry, people about to be catching strays because like I don't know nobody. I stay in my damn house mm. once. The old Brooklyn left, I adjusted mm. with it. But I don't want to see no shit that say more suit, please. I don't want to see Ken Dollars. Like, who the fuck are these people? Like, mm. what school did y'all go to? What hospital was you born in? Like, it's weird to me. Mm. Very weird to me. Well, <laughs> you've been living here for almost a decade. Oh, and it don't matter how long you've been here. You would never be a New Yorker. Carry on. What brought you to, to New York and what's been your experience living here? And um, I guess, you know, some of these these comments that have been said, you know, what's your what's your perspective on the mm -hmm. whole transplant conversation? Um, so I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, we were throwing shows and doing parties um, in Ohio, uh, doing parties and doing stuff with upcoming artists because that I mean that's that's what our calling card has always been just being early and 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 getting artists and and doing things so like like that. So we had for example we had Kendrick Lamar's first concert in Ohio. We had Little Uzi's first concert in Ohio. Um Chance the Rapper. Just, you know, names that you that that are big today that you would that, you know, we had their first their first shows in Ohio and they were kind of close because they were in Midwest, mm -hmm. obviously not Kendrick, but you know, um, that's what we were doing. And we hit the glass ceiling in Ohio because it's, it's Cincinnati, Ohio. You're, it's Cincinnati, Columbus, just Ohio, just in general, it doesn't matter where you at. You're hitting, you're hitting a glass ceiling. So, you know, we was like, you know, fuck it. Let's move to New York and try to do this, try to do this out there. Mm -hmm. Um, we did that, you know, <laughs> it's cow funny. Surfing? Uh no. Uh -oh. Not cow <laughs> not <laughs> not cow surfing, but it we the rag the riches story kind of, I guess. And you know, I I quit my job, sold my car, um, you know, came up. We had to do Airbnbs because we couldn't get it uh, approved for apartment. So, you know, we're staying at Airbnbs, doing this and that month to month. That's why I said I lived in Brooklyn for about three months or whatever, because we couldn't find nothing. We couldn't get renewed at the place we were because someone booked it out right. before. And then, you know, then we came back. Um, yeah, man, uh, when I first got to New York, I was working at this place called Slam Hype, folding clothes and doing product shots and doing things like that, which is what was whatever. It also... I was big in photography back then too, and, and you know, taking pictures, working for, working for Atlantic, Jesus Christ, working for Atlantic, doing all types of crazy, crazy things like that. Um, and had a chance to work with Uzi. I took a picture of Uzi that they actually at first they turned into a Pokemon card, which I was like. <laughs> That's cool, but like, yeah, that's cool when people's like desk in the office, yeah. like, oh, you have a Pokemon card, this and that, <laughs> a little Uzi Vert that I took a picture of. But you know what really happened? And it really sealed that. I had to call, I had to call home and literally cry on the phone with my parents. Was they took that picture, and a lot of what y'all see now in, in in Times Square with those Spotify billboards yeah. and this and that. I had, I had, I had one of the first Spotify billboards. It was just with Uzi. Mm -hmm. They choose that picture. 
They had it in three cities. They had it in New York. They had it in LA and they had it in Atlanta. I was out of New York at the time when they had it. So I had my girlfriend go down there and just take a picture and see it. And it's one of those things that I told my, I told my dad, I told him, you know, to a lot of people, it's like, bro, I didn't move to New York with the idea of like, oh, I'm about to get a billboard in Times Square. Mm-hmm. Like that never, ever crossed my mind. Yeah. So when it happened, it was very like, wait, what the fuck mm-hmm. is going on? Like and this and that. And I think, <clears throat> you know, what, what Mr. Beast was saying, what, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people are saying is I've always been a guest here and always been you know, New York is, that's why I big it up. That's why I talk about it like that. That's why I said nobody's seen the East Coast, none of this, because because I know, one, I'm a guest here. Two, I want to, uh, I want to, I, I want to rep this shit just, it's just as much as y'all, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or just the way that y'all rep it. And, you know, yep. I think you, also living in Harlem and living on the East, living in East Harlem, you know, there's been time, there's times where I go, I would go on top of my apartment to to smoke or whatever, and I could see and hear roars from Yankee Stadium. Mm-hmm. That type of stuff is that type of stuff is biblical, especially if you like sports and you and you like what's going. On, you, you know what I'm saying? You just you feel the energy of the city and you and you, and you embrace it, you know. And then working with pop, working with pop, and then you know seeing the reactions throughout the city of of what's what's happening and and and, and what's 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 moving? That's why the streets inside the summer thing kind of started with me, and this and that. You know, I've always, I've always just wanted to move it forward and be a guest. Yeah. You know, working the new East Coast and the new New York for Apple Music, and being a transplant is kind of, I know, crazy for people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I have a lot. I have a lot of people, a lot of artists, which they might be talking out their ass because I'm just doing something for them. But a lot of people, you know, you know, you've done a lot for me more than niggas that done that live here, blah, blah, mm. blah. You've done a lot for me, this and that. And that, you know, you take that with a grain of salt, but at the same time, you still take it because it's like, damn. Okay. It, 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 like that, even how little it is or whatever, to my mind, it's little and their mind is huge. Just right. getting put on that, New York playlist yeah. for Apple Music just being, you know, so I just I don't know. I want to always be always be a guest here, but I do I do I do want to rep it. I do I do care about the I am a Knicks fan now. I am a Yankees <laughs> fan now. I'm all that shit because that shit is that shit is special, bro. That yeah. shit that shit ingrains you. That shit is like instead of being a hater, I don't know. Right. It's two ways to go. You can be a hater or you can just be like with it yeah. and I feel like a lot of people be trying to be haters but also try to be with it and that's where the disconnect kind of happens right because yeah. I could appreciate like I I could sense the genuine love from you but like a lot of why not want to rep Ohio or Chicago I mean I do I do I do at times but I I do at times but at the same time, I've been living here and this isn't like, I feel like this is my reality right now. And I do, I do rep Chicago, Ohio stuff. I kind of, I kind of don't care be, uh, that much about it because I moved okay, from, bow wow. okay, because I moved from <laughs> Chicago to, to Ohio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was already moving, right. I was already moving from my home to, to Ohio. So like Ohio stuff, I rep a little bit, but like, I don't like, bro, it's, you know what I really rep more than Ohio? Like the mid, I like the Midwest. The Midwest stuff is, mm. that's important to me. Because, you know, the first person we really had rep in the Midwest was like Kanye West. Like for like a lot of people that are outside the Midwest, they saw Kanye repping it. Mm. And yeah. people were like, okay, Midwest is kind of cool. Like, you know, you know what the Midwest is, young and rec. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so I rep the Midwest more than, more than, more than anything. Um, and, and you also spent very pivotal years here. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Career, like, I really grew up as, like, a, like, just, like, as a per Like, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Facts. But, yeah. like, you know Max B songs? I do. I know, yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, it's I just do. certain things. But like, I don't act like I, I, I don't act like I'm the biggest, the biggest, like, yeah, I don't act like, I'm not, I'm not that person. I've never yeah. been that person. It, there's and, just certain nuances about New York culture course, that you just had to just grow mm-hmm. up and to experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. the, and that's the reality of it. It's like, there's respectful guests, and then there are guests who come in and 
uh, go straight to the fridge. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no like, go straight way. to the fridge and it's real pour their own cup of juice and, you know, act like they're in the know. Like, and similar to you, like, growing up right outside of New York and working here and my career essentially forming here and all my friends living here. Like, I, I spend a lot of time here and I, I love New York and I associate it with myself in some way. I don't call myself a New Yorker, but it's been pivotal for me as well. And, and so it's even weird for me when I see like, obviously I, I went to Cornell with people from all over the world and New York was a big destination for them and their finance jobs, their engineering jobs and all that. And just seeing them pop up and try to try to talk about it a certain way. It's, it's weird for me. Cause I'm like, you, you're from like South Dakota. Like, talk like, like, that shit. like you know, it's, <laughs> it's it, but this is, and this is a place where it's like, New Yorkers make it seem so amazing, which it is. But then there's also this, like, which I'm also very protective of it. Very, like, yeah, it's lit over here, but it feels mm-hmm. like y'all sometimes be like, don't come here, though. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's a really weird dynamic. Like, do, do, you, do you agree with that? Um, uh, I think we just say it's lit over here because it's lit. It's mm-hmm. not really an inviting energy. <laughs> I think y'all just want to be a part it's of the litmus. Yeah, it ain't an invitation. Like, I don't think we say, yeah, come on over here, raise the rent, and do all that. I don't think that that is what happened, but it is strange as hell to see, like, white couples in shorts walking their dogs in areas where I know people died in or, like, you know, we done did, like, little missions as kids, mm. and it's just... It's a weird, weird transition. Like, I would never forget the first time that, like, I didn't know I lived in the hood. Mm-hmm. Like, shout out to my family. They did a good job. My childhood was amazing. <laughs> like, I was oblivious to the whole thing. Yeah. And um, I invited a friend over after school. She's from Queens. And um, she came back the next day and said, my dad said I cannot come over. Oh, my God. And I was like, why? And she was like, he said that's the hood. <laughs> and I'm... I'm in Flatbush. Me. <laughs> yeah, so I was like a little offended, like, wait, hold on. And then I just kind of started to pay attention to like, oh, there's a lot of reckless ass shit going on. And mm-hmm. that's why my mom wants me home at a certain time. Or that's why like I'm supervised. So like there was a time that people were scared to come to Brooklyn. Like mm-hmm. when I say that I'm from Flatbush, people know what type of person I am or kind of can guess or like, you know, can just... You know, figure out how I was, like, my upbringing. Mm -hmm. But um, it's strange. But there are some perks of gentrification, I would say. (laughs) Like, my hood had hella resources during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like, we had little testing stations on the corner of Bedford. I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't never give a fuck about us before. But I know we were 15. I I live where they call it now Prospect Lefferts Gardens. (laughs) A.K.A. Flatbush (laughs) slash Crown Heights. (laughs) And, um, yeah, I know. It's just looking more appealing over there. It's 15 minutes away from the city. Mm. I don't even got to go to the city for anything for real. Um, and one of the worst parts about gentrification, too, is, like, them, them opening all these useless shops mm. and things that we don't need. Like, I would just see, like, another bar or something open. I'm like, bitch, this shit is going to close. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, pack it up. Open a rec center or something. Mm. There's a bunch of single mothers that can't fucking watch their kid because they're working overtime and they kid out running the streets. Like, do something useful. Like, mm. that's what I mean. Like, they be coming here, displacing people and just doing bullshit. Mm. Not you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, valid, it's a valid complaint. I think this type of discourse is a lot healthier than what we see on social media. Like... There's... Don't get me wrong. I'm in on the jokes, oh, too. Oh, no, no. I, I peeped. I peeped. I'm in on the jokes, I peeped. too. I peeped. I peeped. Like, I'm going to cut your ass. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, and granted, Jersey and New York are very different. But if someone came in and tried to tell me about it, I'm like, bro, you wasn't you wasn't with me at Dw- Dwight Morrow High School. Hello. You, you, you ain't go to Quarrel School. You Clock ain't go it. to all the, Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I get it. I get it. But I think, like, I don't know. Yeah, I just, <laughs> it <ahead>. just... <sighs> Yeah, bro, this it's a slippery slope because, you know, we get onto the level of, okay, let's say, obviously, we came here and we had third shift. We had, you know, we had some success. We we debuted, you know, New York Records through the thing. We also we also leaked God's plan and, and, mm-hmm. and had that validity on us. But, you know, for that, 
for that um, event, when we leaked Lead God's Plan, we booked all New York D, like DJ. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it just it gets to the it gets it gets kind of it's just very divisive to me. It's yeah. the, it's divisive combos that yeah. people are having. It's like, well, they did this and that, but it's like, well, they did this and that. And it's like, damn, okay, like I'm a transplant, but like when we got to the level that we could, we came back and hired all y'all. All y'all niggas that was really here putting in the shit, and then we elevated y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just gets to the. It just, I just, I just, I just don't know, bro. And also, I don't work super traditionally, so I, I know a lot of people like to go boom, 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 mm-hmm. and sometimes when you skip steps and do other things, that's how people get. It's just, yeah, people's feelings get hurt, especially when you're skipping steps and you think, and it's a lot of, it's, and you know what? It's a lot of, you, you said it already. There's a lot of white people that skip steps. Yeah. 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 Just skip steps right over us. Yeah. And that's the type of shit. If you're, and, 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 and niggas be stepping, white people be stepping right over me and I'm a transplant. I can only imagine being stepped over by a transplant white person. And I've been here doing this and that, scrubbing this, blah, 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 this and that. And y'all think, what? Yeah. Are you fucking crazy? I tell people all the time, bro, the fact that y'all had to ride the train and do crazy shit and see shit at, like, a young age. Like, bro, none of us from the Midwest or anywhere from otherwhere, niggas couldn't, niggas couldn't imagine being on the train at 9, 10, seeing it. Seen a Kids crackhead this shoot small up, mm-hmm. shoot up on a train by themselves. Yeah, yeah, like that type of shit and type of like, come on now. Yeah. Like seriously, like though. come on now. Like that's just the tip of the iceberg of what what in New York. Like y'all niggas and nobody, bro. You, and you can't you can't fake growing up in that. Exactly. So when and you haven't experienced that, that's the and issue. You start talking about that's block the issue. parties and stuff like that. Niggas talking like, about they want to fly in for that block party. I'm like, bro, they look fucking insane mm-hmm. like it's insane, a block away bro. from the project you don't want to fly into the tomp oh we got to catch a flight to the tompkins <laughs> yeah it's just bro so go to weird. hell it's so weird people need go to, to hell where they at i'm a right? transplant go to hell and y'all saying that go to hell bro that is that, that is one thing i will say is people do come here hoping to create motion for themselves like I never been Wait, to the, this I, on I, Patreon. I never, right? I, I never, I, I, I've never been to the Tompkins thing either. Because, I would spill some because tea. it looks crazy. It looks like it, it don't look official. Yeah, it looks like it, it don't look yeah, official. It, it like, where the hood like niggas at? Where Facts, the dice? Nigga. Where yeah. the like? Facts, nigga. Where the ice cups? Where the nutcrackers? I can go, I can like, go around. Like, yeah, bro, I'm in heart. Like, bro, come on. Bro. Yeah, real talk. Fuck though. Out of here, bro. But some tea to spill. I had got into it with a transplant too. I try to be nice to her ass, but um. That's brazy. Yeah, I try to be nice to her. Uh, give a hint. That's brazy. Her, she goes by... Mm. And not only is she a transplant, she's not black. Mm. So um, we had got into it because I remember she was ranting on Twitter about, you know, being the reason why... Blew up and shit. And I am from Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. I've been knowing who... We call her tiny. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, like, I saw I saw the comment, and because we had a rapport before she was that, the she blew up. I'm, about, I'm sorry. Uh, Type shit. Type shit. I could show I could show you the the um, exchange after this because I know we about to run out of time. But what? She was taking credit for being the reason why blew up, and like, I'm not on her team. Mm-hmm. I just know know people on her team. I'm proud of her success because mm-hmm. I know she's been grinding for mm-hmm. years. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, when we got, when she got the deal, the whole of Brooklyn was like, bitch, about time. Mm-hmm. Like, because you really been putting in that work. Yeah. So, for a non-black transplant to be <sighs> online boldly claiming that she is the reason for this young lady's success because she was paid to do a digital campaign and <laughs> engaged in the trend that offended me. Mm. So I wrote her and I was just like, hey, sis, like, you know, I don't think what you're saying is, you know, appropriate to be saying, like, you got paid for the job and you did a job well done. So, you know, pat yourself on the back and move on. What more do you want? Mm. Like, not in these words. I was a lot more polite. I don't got, I I got smoke for her now. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) So I'm talking, I'm giving you in lame terms. Mm. But it's like, 
we were more hype as a culture when Meek Mill reposted her, when Snoop Dogg reposted her. Yeah. Like, that <laughs> repost ain't do shit but get you geeked. Yeah, right. And now you want her to be fucking kissing your fucking feet for that shit, and that's not cool. Yeah. And then, um, you know, she responded to me on some like, oh, thank you for approaching me. You know, sometimes people be haters, da, da, da. And then we talked about it, and then she blocked me after. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm on that's why I'm on our Patreon right now, mm. you know, spilling the tea. Cause it's like, bitch, you ain't have to do that. Mm. And to be honest with you, she blocked you. Make, yeah, blocked me. And it's like, I don't never see this bitch in real life, you know. <laughs> I don't never see her oh in real fucking God. life. And I cannot wait to see her ass, but more, I, and that's not to do nothing because she's not black. I know she would call authorities. I just want to know like what was all that energy for in mm. person and to see if she has it for me because people like her are usually intimidated by bold black women like myself. Mm. But anyway, I just didn't appreciate her coming to, to a city that she's not from, standing in proximity of Stop. something that was... Because I know you've seen the tweets and you know I'm spot on and that shit got you tickled. That shit got but, you tickled. <laughs> you standing in proximity of something that was already bubbling, People are already crazy. on the way up, and now you want to take credit for it because you think you some white man savior, and that shit was not okay as a New York native. So, yeah. Colonizers. Fucking, she colonizers. ain't a colleague. <laughs> she ain't a colonizer. fucking colleague <laughs> online accusing black men of being aggressive and trying to claim the success of a New York native. She ain't mm. a colleague. Mm. So, yeah. Well, Hopefully that pays the rent for next month. <laughs> <laughs> Very fruitful discussion. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just the, the the New York dynamics are just so fascinating to me. And the more people I meet, the more I'm, I go, I go around New York, like. It'll just always be this very interesting thing to me. So I love being a textbook New Yorker. Yeah, no. I you... love I love when I'm traveling and mm. someone overhears me talking loudly and they come up to me and be like, "You from New York?" And I'll be like, "Facts, B, dead ass." <laughs> Cause like, yeah, I am. I know you hear the accents, mm. thick as hell. Yeah. I try to hide it sometimes, but then when I really be over the bullshit, I it's gonna come right out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, it's great to hear your perspective on transplants. Great to hear from. Um, a respectful a guest, <laughs> a, a respectful <laughs> guest on the matter. Um, so yeah, this is Patreon. Let us know in the comments how y'all feel about transplants in your cities. Let us know if you've felt welcomed when you've come to New York. Um, and yeah, just let us know your thoughts on the conversation. We'll be back with y'all soon.